ஹரி ஓம் நமஸ்தர்வேதிய சர்வேஷாம் ஸ்வாகம் டுடே ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் டு திஸ் ஃபைனல் செஷன் ஆஃப் சான்ஸ்கிரிட் ஃபார் பிகினர்ஸ் சம்ஸ்கிருத பாஷா பிரவேஷக திஸ் வாஸ் அ சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் லெக்சர் செஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் டுடே இஸ் அ ஃபோர்த் அபியாச வர்க்க ஐ ரியலி வெரி ஹாப்பி தட் யூஆர் ஆல் டேக்கிங் ஆக்டிவ் பார்ட் இன் can doing the homework and getting them corrected and dhanyavadaha i am sure this will help you it is just like our lkg or pre kg where we learn the aksharani uh, letters of the english alphabet to go to a higher standards similarly this abhyasa vargaha on varnamala will certainly help you all to catch up with the gita shloka and by next within within a year from now will be able to do a perfect chanting of bhagavad gita so let us now start our session with a prayer as usual om vakratunda mahakaya surya koti samaprabha nirvignam kuru me deva சர்வாரஸ்வதிமஸ்துபம் வரவே காமி வித்யாரம்பம் கரிஷ்யாமி சித்தர்பவத்து மே சதா குருர்பிரம்மா குருர்விஷ்ணு குருர்தேவோஸ்தாட்சா தஸ்மைவே நம பட்டாசம் வதாமி சம்ஸ்தம் சதா தியாயம் சம்யக் வந்தே சம்ஸ்தமாதரம் கோ ஃபார் டுடேஸ் லெசன் வில் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கோ டு சி ரீகேப் ஆஃப் வாட் வாஸ் டேக்கன் இன் தி லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் so not only the last class so far in this varnamala series i have started with aksharaha starting from shubharamba with om i have pranava om is a pranava mantra with that we have started all the swara aksharaha the hrasvaha dirghaha then we also had a ayogavaha then we also saw about halantaha all the consonants and the halantaha cannot exist without the aksharaha uh, the swara aksharaha so we have asked the added the swaras to the halanta and we have got gunit aksharaha so these are all what we have seen in the various sessions in this course then we started with letters vowels support vowel am aha consonants then then we saw about the ayuktaha swara ayuktaha is a vowel based consonant conjunct consonant with they are otherwise called as a gunitakshara that is like supposing ra maha ra is a gunitakshara maha is a gunitakshara ra means a r re pa ha plus a ra maha is um um vyanjana vyanjanam plus a uh, a so it becomes the maha ra maha ஸ்வரயுக்த அக்ஷரா தென் வி ஆல்சோ சோ வாட் இஸ் நோன் அஸ் மாத்திர வவல் மார்க்ஸ் மாத்திர சோ தட் த வெரி குண்ணி தாக்ஷரா வி டோன்ட் ரைட் ந அண்ட் இ ஹியர் பட் பட் வி புட் ஃபார் வவல் மாத்திர ஹியர் இ கு வி புட் ஃப்ரம் டின் டவுன் ஹியர் அண்ட் ஃபார் விசாகா வி புட் டூ டாட்ஸ் ஹியர் சோ அம் வி புட் அ அனுஸ்வாரா வி புட் அ டாட் ஹியர் சோ they are called the matra the vowel marks in but the any other language also has it is a devanagari script so then we have what is known as vishesha aksharaha these aksharaha it is t kshra shr anya they can be written like that itself in sanskrit only thing is the kshra is once again is ik plus iksh ish plus a kshra so the, uh, ultimately the second akshara becomes a gunit akshara similarly shra is 
ishu plus ra so sha then we have nya inji plus nya so that is nga that is nanya na namana tanu nasika is added to nya so you get three unique letter for many many sin like akshara ha we see here akshara unita akshara so we need to know these formations they are very unique and there is one more letter l but l we are not concerned because it is only used in vedic sanskrit so we never say mangalam soli mangalam so sayu sayu takshara ha we don't say sam we say sayu because y comes here the pronunciation goes as sayu takshara ha the conjunct consonant formation so there will be again two or three consonants and the last consonant ultimately will have a swara so you can be either how, what are the rules of formation if supposing you see here here the ikta the ik is you can see it is half ka and that is side, side by side ik and ta are side by side whereas some aksharas they will be one below the other one below the other like kla aklesho so kla blue all the lakaram will come under all this and some of them come on the within the letter is like matra inside the ta itself to see one line stroke down so matra and inside the ha we either and you write a ha like this and if you write a small c inside that becomes hr to put on line here it becomes hr so there are rules in formation like they can be on the side or on the below or on inside itself or the repaha alone will go on top like on top you will put a curve then that becomes a repaha varta karnaha krishnaha i mean not krishnaha kru is rikaram down similarly the r on top will be it is before the vowel then anuswaraha so the yoga vahaha and the visargaha again there are some rules using them like anuswaraha and visargaha can be added only next to a vowel aha or am you cannot add them to a just a consonant when the ik is there you cannot put kum there is no kum so only kam or kam or kim or kim there is a br cannot be brum so only bram 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 bream so there are some rules concerning the usage of anuswaraha and the visargaha there are niyama they are the niyama are the, the rules and then one more thing is the visarga again become only the pronunciation in geeta they are called as the diva mooliyaha rupadmaniyaha diva mooliyaha nothing but the tongue the root of the tongue it comes a ha ha that sound it doesn't come just like that it again has to be like rishayak <coughs> rishayakshi la so ik ha uh, otherwise artah patah kriyate ik kriyate when k or kh are coming to get jiva mulya in as when you upadmani aha kam when there will be a k or tv so that time you get f sound like we come to the example later so we have seen all of them so also had a homework discussion every session i am trying to do a homework session and because of this so much was covered in a matter of five four days theory and four uh, five theory and uh, three practical sessions so far and today we are going to have yet another practical session so five plus four nine days We have covered everything, and we have given you homework also. So, and you, I, I request you all to go back to the videos so that you have the slides on them. So you have to know a lot on sutra ni. You have to really revise them. Only then you know the utpatti sthana ni of all these akshara ha, alanta ha, gurita akshara ha, swara yukta ha, and vishesh akshara ha, sayukta akshara ha. All of the letters can be learnt well. Jiva Mulya, Upadmaniya, everything. If you know the sutra ni, then you are done with learning this. So this course will be a complete course. You know all the sutra ni by heart.
So we were discussing about this swara vidaha. He said the vowel types are hasya swaraha, dirga swaraha, lutaha, and ayoga pahaha. Hasya swaraha are short vowels. A, I, U, R, L. And dirga swaraha are two types. A, E, U, R. And the other four are a mixture of one or hasva and one dirga or two hasva like A, I, O and O. In the plutaha are letters with three matra. The na, naam, twa, the a, like you stretch it, the third kala. So one kala, two kala, three matra kala. It's a plutaha. We didn't do much about them because even om is a plutaha. We didn't take it here because we don't have it in a day-to-day -day, uh, Sanskrit. And in, even in Gita, we don't see. And Ayoga Vahaha are nothing but the support vowels are. The two written ones are Anuswaraha and Visargaha. Am and Aha. And the two only Ucharanam pronunciation. They are uh, subdivisions of Visarga. Some uh, textbooks, Lippi, you don't get the print for uh, the Ucharanam. Like Jiva, uh, Mulia, and Upadmani, Aha. You don't have the uh, type EP there. So you can still put the Visargaha there. See, do you all see? All the Visarga come only with the Swara. No Visarga comes without a Swara. You cannot get a Visarga without a Swara. So, Udharanani, we are reading. Ketadyoni Nibhutani Sarvani Chupadharaya Aham Krishna Sya Jagataha Rabhava Kalaya Satha. The Bhagavad Gita, 7th chapter, 6th shloka. See, I will tell you all. A. A is a Dirga Swara, Rasa Swara, Dyo, Hiddu Prasya, Sayutakshara, Hitta Yo, O is a Gunitakshara, Ni, Inn Prasi, Gunitakshara, Ni. Hindu plus E, Rasta, Gunitakshara. Bhu is a Gunitakshara. Ubhu plus U, Bhu. Ta is a Gunitakshara. Dirga. Ni is a Rasta, Gunitakshara. Sarva ni chipadharaya. Sa is a is plus A, Gunitakshara. Ur is a Sayutakshara. Urva. The Ur has to be pronounced before the full Gunitakshara. So, Sarva, Sarva, Ni, Sarva, Ni, Nupati, Gunitakshara, Kitju, Sayuktakshara, two consonants is the Gunitakshara, U, Pa, Yupa, Pa is the Gunitakshara, Ipu plus A, Dha, Iddu plus A, Raya, Ir plus A, Kiyu plus A, both of them are Gunitakshara, Aham, A is a Gunitakshara, it's a Raswa, Swara, hum is a anuswara. After see hum, ha plus um, it is actually it's not ikh plus um, ha plus um, hum. Krishna sya, kru is a gunita akshara. Ikh plus rukara. Ikh is joining only with a rukara vowel. Rukara is a vowel. It's a hraswa swara. Kru. And it is na, Krishna. So three consonant joining Gunitakshara. It is again a Sayutakshara. Is yeah. Again a two letter Sayutakshara. Is Yi plus A. Jagataha. Ja is Iju plus A. Ga is Ig plus A. Taha is Itsu plus A plus A. Prabhavah. Prabhavah. This if it's a G. This guy becomes a Jiva Mulia because the Pra has Pa in it. Pra is a Gunitakshara. Ippu plus R, Repa plus A, Bha is a Gunitakshara, Ibu plus A, Vaha, Ibu plus A, Ha, Pralaya, Pra is Ippu plus Ra, Irri plus A, La is Illu plus A, Ya is E plus A, Ista, Is plus It plus A, Ta, Gunitakshara, It plus A. So, all of them you have seen. No letter is without a gunitakshara in the end. I mean, without a swara in the end. 
any letter unless you have like in uda haranam who is the swara da is it plus a ha is it plus a ra r re pa plus a na n plus a and this im contains a halan the down stroke the last letter must have halan otherwise it become ma uda haranam ma unless you write the down stroke halan doesn't become the uh, cons consonant cannot have a consonant at the end without the down stroke so this month must we learned all about the vowel types the all the how the gunita akshara and the sayukta akshara are formed so to know them now this is one chart it contains everything about the sutra ni see here when you see ha a they are kantaha you see e e they are talu when you see r r they are in the ta murdha over the hard palate and lu also comes to danta just touch the back of your teeth and front teeth and pronounce and o u is a oshta without lip you cannot say u unless you bring them together you cannot say u u so these are all for the vowel but when you come to the mishra pravaha swaraha devyasa a is Plus e is a so bo kanta talu to be a dai to ho a and i have a e a e a e is a a e is a i so they will be kanta talu similarly o is a plus u and o is a plus u so they will be kanto tam so o and o are kanto tam so other things ka kh ga gh na so kavar gah so generally the kavar gah we shortly call it as ku so a ku ha then visarga a ku ha visarjaniyana kanthah ई ई ई ई वर्ग इच्छु चावर्ग चाच्च ज ज न सो इच्छु वर्ग सो इच्छु यशाना तालु ऋतु राशाना मूर्धा लुतु लसाना दंता So, this is the first five sutra, only for one one place of origin. Whereas then when you say edai toho kanta talu, so two are joined like that. Then we also saw vakarasya danto tam. So. something like we need to know the sutra ni this chart will be very easy for you that is why posted here with the sutra ni with this chart you can easily see even without seeing aku kha visarjaniyana kanthah rutu rashana udha so you will know very well where it starts so you please practice it can anybody with this anybody is ready to recite be see only this chart raise your hand you can do ratanam two or three people who can read the sutra ni without seeing them only by the chart raise your hand varshini bas karani bahini read what is bahini any sutra अकुह विसर्जनीयाना 
So you must full with her. You forgot. You must say that sutra. Okay. Asuka visarjaniya na pancha ha. Repeat again. Akuha visarjaniya nam kantha ha. Very good. Uttamam. Anybody else? Any other sutram? Shankar Rao Mahode. Sundari Bhagini. Virbala Guja Bhagini. Ichu Yashanam Talu. Yeah, and once more. Ichu Yashanam Talu. Can you explain the sutram? Uh, e is a swara. E, 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 chakarame cha. Chavarga. Chavarga. Then y, y. Y is sure. there. Then sh is there. Sh. Very good. Sutama. Yeah. Anyone else? And I'll tell. Yes. Dureshana Murda. Can you tell what they are? Atman. Ru. 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 Tata. Ra. Dada. Na. Na. Tata. Ru. Ru. Tata. Na. Ru. Then. Repa. Shakara. Okay. Rakara and Shakara. Anyone else? Danta. It is not Lu, it is Lu. Lu is a wrong. Rithula Sana. Rithula Sana. Not Lu. Don't say R. There's no R there. So it's Lu. Lu. L U. Rutula Sana. No, Lu. Lu. La, la. La, Magini. Lu. No Rakaram there. Only La is there. L A. Lu. Anybody else? Ma Malakshmi. Malakshmi Bhagini. Malakshmi Bhagini. Lutula Sanam Dantaha. Hmm. You explain the letters there? Uh, yeah. Uh, that will be Tata Dada. No, oh, no, no. Lutu uh, Lasana. Lu. Lu. Da. 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 Yeah. I listen. Yes. Then? Lutu Lasana. Lutu Lasana. Danta. Lutu. No, Lu there. Lutu yeah. Lasana. Okay. Lutula Sanam. Correct. Danda. After telling Lutula Sanam, you may not say Murda, it is Danta. Okay. Danta no, you try, you try telling La, it is behind the teeth, it touches the tongue, touches oh. the teeth uh, from behind, yeah. and then you mm. say, okay. Then anybody okay. else? One more sutra. Savitri Bhagini. E Daito Kantha Talu. Only two of them, A and I and I. Okay. A I A I to ho. Only two of them. Kanta talu. Very good. Thank you. Then So we'll go to the next slide. So we know uh, the vowel sound a uh, is the lips and jaws must be nearly coming together. But now, now do you understand? In the beginning of the class, you didn't understand. Now you'll understand better. The lips and a uh, a uh, uh, when you say they come closer, they don't touch each other. But o oh, when you say o. Oh, the lips will be approximated. Why? Like you bring everything together like a round shape. That is O. E, e is from the talu, soft palate. The middle of the tongue goes to the soft palate. And then A, the lips are separated. Jaws are closer, the upper jaw and the lower jaw. The teeth, the bone of the teeth is called the jaw. But A, the lips are separated. For R, R and L. They are closely approximated. The tongue is coming to the murdha. Murdha is murdha. Comes lu, it is danta, but ru and ru are murdha. U, 
Who sound is the hosta? Hosta. The middle of tongue goes to the palate, but who labials? So, Amanyataha, the trip mistakes what we do is, see, instead of Vasu Devaha, Va is a Hrasa here, but we forget and we say Va. Vasu Devaha. Vasu Deva Sutam. It's not Vasu Deva Sutam. Vasu Deva tongue is Vasu Deva. So, Vasu Deva Sutam Deva. You must not recite. Vasudeva Sutandevam. No, we cannot say that becomes Krishna's son. So Vasudeva is Krishna. Vasudeva is Krishna's father. So another, another example. Etan Nahantu Michami. So Etan Na. That is correct. That is Etan Nahantu. I don't want to kill them. But what do you do? Etan Hantu Michami. Anybody? Are, Many North Indians, especially Hindi people, they forget the last na, na, Sakaram. They take it as a halang. Etan hantum, etan hantum. That means I want to kill them. That is wrong. You write only etan hantum or chant. Etan hantum ichami. It is very, very wrong. Meaning. The second thing is, now we go to Vyanjana Vidaha, the consonant types. You have seen this. Ka, ka, ga, ga, na. Vargaha, Sacha, Jaja, Nya, Nya, Chavargaha, Kha, Da, Dha, Na, Chavargaha, Kha, Da, Dha, Na, Chavargaha, Kha, Kha, Ba, Bha, Ma, Chavargaha, that all the way, Vargiya, Vyanjanani, all of them become Kavarga, Chavarga, Tavarga, Tavarga, Pavarga. So five in each. These are the Anunasika. The last letter of each uh, Vargam is becomes the Anunasika. Then we have Avargiyaha, Ya, Ra, La, Va. They are the Antasaha. And we also have Sha, Sha, Ta. They are the Ushmanaha. And Ha is the Toshmata. So we have these, they all are independent letters. They have different, different uh, group. They don't have a group. Non-group they are. So they are called as semi-vowels. Uh, uh, semi so they are all avargiyaha. So now we come to matra. How those avargiyaha, all of them avargiyaha, how they become kaka, kiki, like the entire full length of the uh, art how, art am, aha. So we have the matra. So for a, uh, there is no matra like in any other language. We just remove the down stroke. This down stroke is removed like the, the, the dot is removed. If you remove the dot, it becomes sky in Tamil. The down stroke is removed. It becomes a uh, in Sanskrit. Oh. All of you follow what is there, the matra, down matra. See? E. Ooh. Ru. Ru is only one C like Ru is inverted three. A only from A we start some stroke above the Shiroreka. I two strokes above the Shiroreka. O one stroke above the vertical stroke of the O. How? Two strokes above the vertical stroke of the au. Am is one dot above the shiroreka. And aha is a dot, two dots to the side of the letter. So these are all the marks, vowel marks. I've given you questions, you've answered very well. All of you got it corrected also. So we have to write nityam ni. Ni ni. Bhuta, bhuta ni. So Etad yo ni 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 first then ni 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 bhutani. So this is called a vowel mark. So now Guddi Takshara, you need a repetition. I want someone to raise your hand and repeat. One of you come on Q and A and repeat. 
I will repeat. Yeah. A X plus A K. X plus A is equal to K. A is K. X plus A is K. X plus E is K. X plus E is equal to K. X plus U is K. X plus U is equal to K. X plus R is K. K. X plus R is K. X plus A is K. K. X plus A is equal to K. X plus I. X plus I is equal to K. X plus O is equal to K. X plus O is equal to K. So only observation I want you to make is when you are adding a swara to a consonant, then the downstroke has to disappear. If it is A only, you don't need anything else. Just without the downstroke is an A added. All the other akshara, you see the downstroke is removed and the vowel marks are added for ka, for ki, for ki, for ku, for ku, for kr, for kr, for k. For kai, for ko, and for kau. So, this is how you must write. When you add a, we are all called gunitakshara because a consonant joins only with the vowel. That is why I say kru is a vowel, gunitakshara. It is not a sayutakshara. Kru is a gunitakshara only. Pick and drill. Only becomes kru. So all of you can one more person also read. Sankar Rao Mahodaya. Just the last line alone. Kuri Takshar alone. Sankar Rao Mahodaya. Yeah. Yes, Bhagani. Ka, ka, ki, ki, ku, ku, kru, kru. 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 Ke. Kai ko ko. Very good, Mahadev. Excellent. One more person. Thank you, Bhagini. Hmm. Myself. Yes. Ka ka ki ki ku ku kru kru klu ke kai ko ko. So remember, only after K, you get any stroke above the letter. Till then, you have Gunita Aksharas, you have nothing. So throughout Sanskritam, if something comes up is only for Ikara and Ikara, you get one, one curve like this. Whereas for other letters, nothing is there above the Shiro Rekha. So you must remember that only for the four diphthongs, the mistress Paraha, you get them above the, the strokes are above the uh, horizontal line. So you must be very careful and remember this as a basic rule. So these are the special letters. Sha, Ik Prasha, Stra, Ish plus Ra, uh, Nya, Ig plus Nya, so Nesar Sam, Nya, Nya, Cha, Cha, Ja, Ja, Nya. So that only becomes Nasally, it comes here. And there is no L for us in our special. It's only a special consonant. It's not a so conjunct. We don't have it in our regular day-to-day Sanskrit. -day so, now I want you to repeat these letters. I'll, re I'll tell them once. I want to three people to re recite everything. Ik plus the is ik the tu tam. Ik prasha is iksha. Purposely I put the second letter as Gunita Akshara because there's no point writing Visarga in Yanjana here. So ksha, riksha, ha, ij plus nya, nya, 
ஜானம் இத்து பிரஸ்த இத்த உத்தரம் இத்து பிரஸ்திரா இது பிரஸ் இது த இத்த உத்தேசக இது பிரஸ் வைத்தியக விஸ்வஸ்திரமக சூக்தம் உத்தரம் ஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ்வாஷ
a single letter this they cannot split there is this ri and ru can be split r prati there are two letters one consonant and one vowel one consonant and a vowel whereas this r is only one single vowel rikar so shakya eva vidho drashtum drashtavanasi mayatha see the difference drashtum dra dra is id plus r plus a dra ana here drishtavan dr when the id plus rkaram there are no three letters only two letters one id plus rkaram so it's only a gunitakshara this is a sayukta akshara but this is a gunitakshara this is dra this is dr drashtum shakya eva vidho drashtum drishtavan simayatha so must know you cannot uh, recite it wrongly this is dr the with rkara the kara ha rkara similarly see you can see this tatra pashya sthitan pathaha so you are splitting the pada so taha ulha must be said pitrunat pitamahan pitrunat you don't stop here pitrunat no pitrunat one word acharyan matula bratrun putran pautran sakhin satha acharyan matula bratrun Putran, Pautran, Sakhim, Tatha, Shwasuran, Surudash, Chaiva, Senayo, Rubhayo, Rapi. This is how Gita is going to be. So many difficult combinations will be there. We need to understand each word. Senayo, Ubayo, Api, Shwasuran, Surudash, Chaiva. So we must know all that. So this Ratanam is there for you. I have split it here. If it is not split as a pada, this is a full sloka. So when you split it, it must be a full ha. Pitru nata and bratru nata. Again, you split the pada. Just come on uh, line and start reciting the sloka in a split way, like how we pronounce the Gita class. Anybody who has learned to learn, read the lippi alone can come. No, the Gita Sokka can come. Raise your hands. Neela Ramesh Bhattini. Neela Ramesh Bhattini. Tatra, Tatra, Pashya, 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 Pita, Pita, Tatra, Pashya, Pashya, पौत्र वेरी गुड सी यू 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 डोंट नो संस्कृत बिफोर नो नो मैम एंड ऑफ द क्लास यू आर एबल टू रीड इन संस्कृत राइट इन टैमिल और इंग्लिश You are able to read it. That is how you must pick up. Very good. Don't worry. It won't yeah. be difficult. I will speak every word. Satra plus Parshya Sitan plus Parthaha. I will speak everything. So that you know. Okay. I am just giving you an example. How a difficult sloka can be learned by learning the Akshara. See, the classes were not a waste. Anybody else? Uchara Matumbra. Yes. That. तत्र पश्यस्तिथा पाथ पितृ नथ पिता महान 
आचार्यान्मातुलान भ्रातृन पुत्रान पौत्रान सखीन स्तर पुत्रान पौत्रान सखीन स्तथा श्वशुरान सुहृदश्चैवा सेनयोरुभयोरपि Okay, what is your mother tongue, ma? Canada, ma'am. Canada, but you have all the four letters in Canada, right? So you are reading, yeah. but you are now reading from Sanskrit book. Which book you followed for Gita before? I follow both Sanskrit and Canada. Very good. So after, even after knowing the Lippi, you came for the Parnamala. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank, Anybody thank else? you, ma'am. Lalita, no, 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 all no. of you will. All of yes, you after the course is over. All of you, I'm sure, hundred percent, two hundred percent, will be able to read from a Sanskrit book like this. Okay, go ahead. Tatra pashyastitan partha pitra natha pita mahan acharyan matulan bhratrin putran pautran sakhim stha. श्वशुरान सुहृदश्चैव सेनयोर भयोर अपि वेरी गुड उत्तम यू नो सांस्कृतिक फोर या आई नो बेगनी सो दैट इज व्हाई यू आर एबल टू सो वेल यू आर रिसाइटिंग नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मा लक्ष्मी बकनी तत्र पश्यतितान पाथा पितामहान Uh, Malayalam as their uh, mother tongue. Can they recite? Anybody can lift their hand. Yes, yes ma'am. I'll write. Yes. Ah, yeah, recite. Tatra, tatra, pashyas, titan, parthaga, pitru, nata, pita, mahan, acharyan, matulan, bratron, bratron, putran, pautran, sagim, stata. स्वशुरासुपुदेर स्पीकि I want to know how much I picked up. Yes, yes. Next time, definitely we will do. Thank you. But in I can read. Shall I read me? Anybody who doesn't know Hindi as a basic, do not do not know eleven degree before. I want to check whether you understood the classes. Ushara ni bagiri. Ah, Ushara. Correct. You can make mistakes, no problem. But I want to know. पुत्रुरात Very good. See, this is how you start. Then you slowly will pick up. Thank you. Thank so, you, ma'am. Thank 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 you, ma'am. Thank
he here also one more thing guru na hatva hi mahan bhava guru na hatva hi mahan bhava sheyo bhoktum vaikshya mapi haloke the kshya is ik plus ish plus e plus a kshya you don't say the e become kshya vaikshya is wrong this is a wrong spelling vaikshyam api ha vaikshya similarly vish vish tab actually ta it was it vish tabhyahami dam nam snam is it is snam snam to remove one it is dropped or is is dropped becomes krishnam it is wrong so you must know that if there are three uh, consonants all of them should be given importance and recited you cannot just leave one and go this is the significance i'm not going to repeat this because you slowly pick it up so i'm coming to hakara ha ha when the ha is coming after na na or ma for example grh you say see grnhati written ha and in it is written as grnhati but we are reading as grhnati grn grhnati is written but we are pronouncing as grnhati janhavi is written ha first and then na but we are reading as janavi brahma it is written brahma but we are reading brahma but here there is one uh, some schools will say brahma or brahma both are accepted but in our vasudeva kudumbakam we are taught as brah brahma so let us follow that similarly whenever there is a ya va la and then avargiya words okay this is a fifth letter of the consonant in the varg vargiya vanjana so this avargiya yavala becomes bahyam the ha first here grin hati na first but here bahyam ha first then gahwara gahwaram the cave uh, gahwaram prahlada ha then la prahlada there are some people even my master who teaches me sanskritam he says gauhara he says gauhara some schools say gauhara but here we are taught in gita as bahya sparsheshya tastatna so bahya bahya sparsham so bahya bahya prayatnam then prahlada prahlada shasmi daityanam whenever you have ya va and la please the ha should be pronounced first whenever a na and na and ma you can all write it down in your notebooks or gita book otherwise you can even get back to the slide after the class is over in the youtube so this is the way the hakara in combinations you cannot make mistakes then this is again how to split and the joining the word so ye to dharmya amritam dharmya amritam the amritam is a nectar of pious wisdom dharmya amritam But if you split it as dharmya mritam, ye to dharmya, then after some time mritam, mritam is a dead object. So you are taking a dharmic people taking dead object. It is wrong. Mritam is dead, dead body. So it is wrong. So dharmi like that's why we say no. Uh, the so Brahma Vidya Ya Yoga Shastra. We tell you to take it together. Some people I see Brahma Vidya Ya. Yoga Shastra. No, it is wrong. Once you make a sandhi there, you cannot spit and read. Similarly, Shubha Shubha Palai Revam Shubha or Shubha Palai for both good and bad fruits. But when you spit it, Shubha Shubha both are Shubha only. Shubha Palai only. So good of good fruit, Shubha Shubha Palai. It is wrong. You must be Shubha or Shubha. B A and A will become A. shubha so that is also a wrong pronunciation wrong splitting so you must know to split the words also correctly or join them also correctly and only then the gita chanting will be perfect then then we here anuswara we have a niyama i told you parasavarna 
when you have a para savarna that is in front of the anuswara supposing you have a there is an am like uh, for example gatam mukam we we'll say mukam karoti mukam is there im and karoti is there so what will happen whatever is the ka anunasika of that uh, ka varga the mukam will become as mukam mukam karoti you should not put mukanj karoti or mukan karoti mukan karoti ra mukam karoti ing the ka varga karoti it comes follows then it was a mukam karoti kinchit kim chit the anuswara im kim kim becomes chit so inj kinchit like that ta becomes na for ta you know this uh, uh, one vasudeva sutam devam sutam plus devam sutam plus devam sutam devam this in you put sutam devam and you know this pa uh, boditum bodana bodi bodanam boditum im will become im only it looks like im only but again that is anuswara the pa tha ba ba kam then im makaram only has to come for ahvargiya ya la va what happens is there is a chandra bindu like om he put ya on top he put on c and then dot chandra bindu so பங்குல்லங்கயதே பங்கும் சோ பங்குல்லங்கய தப் பூ வில் ஹேவ் ஒன் சந்திர பிந்து பங்குன் அது உம் தட் அனுநாதிகா ஷில் கம் தேர் பங்குல்லங்கயதே கிரிம் சோ தட் உம் தட் கம் அனுநாதிகா வில் கம் ஃபார் யா லாவா தே ஆர் டபுள்ட் சோ தி சேம் லா அண்ட் வா வில் கம் சோ நீ யூ ஷட் நோ த அனுஸ்வாரஹ ஹவ் இட் चेंजेस டோன்ட் चेंज இட் வித் தி प्रीवियस லெட்டர் following letter whatever is the first letter then you have to change it you see a lot of examples in gita don't worry so for example dure na without parasavarna niyama like only anuswara alone dure na tavaram karma tavaram im im na my lips are closing makar anuswara dure na tavaram karma but with the anuswara rule dure na tavaram karma taka gaganga na basya prithivim chaiva na basya prithivim chaiva cha cha jajanya vinashinam nityam veda vinashinam nityam nam vinashinam nityam tata dadanna karmajam buddhi yuktahi so it is karmajam buddhi yuktahi karmajam buddhi jam buddhi is the anuswara change to because bu papa baba ma here it was anuswaram the change to makara singhanadam vinadyo chaiye so nadam it is shivya chandra bindu here nadam vi iv vinadyo chaihi nadam vi that vi becomes iv nadam vinadyo chaihi nayal loko so nayal nayangl that young that tone should get don't get it as a beginner doesn't matter nayal loko tina paraha nayal loko i hear most of you say nayal loko that is also right but preferably nayan loko you can get one anunasika there singhanadam vinadyo it is very good but it should not be singhanadam vinadyo that is wrong im it should not come anuswaram here it should change to the next anunasika similarly for visarga we have some rules when the last that is a visarga arthah then karnah tish then karnascha uh, karn uh, like karnsha comes first letter then also it becomes sha only sha comes sha ta means ta like for example kirtish shrivaksha so kirtish 
ഫുഡ് ശ്രീവാക്ച ശുക്ല ഷൺമാസ ശുക്ല ഷൺമാസ യതി ബാ സദൃശി യതി ബാ സദൃശി ഇപ്പോൾ എക്സ്ട്രാ ഇസ് വിമൂ ദ വിസർഗ വിസർഗ ചേഞ്ചസ് ടു ഇസ് വിസർഗ ചേഞ്ചസ് ടു ഇഷ് വിസർഗ ചേഞ്ചസ് ടു ഇഷ് സോ നവ ദരിസ ഷ ഷ സ ആൻഡ് അതർ ദാൻ ദിസ് എന്നവർ ദ വിസർഗ ഇസ് ഫോളോഡ് ബൈ അച്ച കർണശ്ച തൈ കൃഷ്ണശ്ച ദ്രോണശ്ച ഭീഷ്മശ്ച ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് ഇഷ് ഓൺലി വെൻ ദ ച കംസ് ആൾസോ ഇഷ്ച ഇസാനോ ഷ്വാൻഷ പശ്ചാത്ത് സോ ഇഷ ഇസ് വെരി കോമൺ വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ടു ദ വിസർഗ സോ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ കിഞ്ചന ത്രിഷു ലോകേഷു കിഞ്ചന കെനാബി കിം മൺചന ഇസ് റോങ് കിഞ്ചന ഇസ് കറക്റ്റ് കിഞ്ചന ഇസ് റോങ് ദ എം ബിക്കംസ് ഇൻ ദ ഇം ഇസ് ദർ കിം ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കം ഇഞ്ച് ചച്ച ജജ ഞ കിഞ്ചന ഇസ് കറക്റ്റ് ദെൻ സി വെനവർ ദർ ഇസ് അനുസ്വാര ബിഫോർ വൺ ബവൽ kim akurvata you can also kim akurvata it is wrong you cannot write like this kim akurvata kim akurvata is correct the full makara should be there you cannot have an anuswara in front of a vowel then yada te moha kalilam buddhir vyati tarishyati tada gantasi nirvedam ശ്രോതവ്യസ്ുതസ്യാസ്വരാസ്വരാട്ട്ലിസ്വരാട്ട് so these are the rules of when it should not be used so at the end of a pada also it cannot be used klesho dikataras esha avyakta sakta chetasam avyakta hi gatir dukham deha vadhira vapyate so when it becomes a pada then klesho dikataras esham full makara if you stop here avyakta hi gatir dukham kam full makara when the padam is split you cannot have anuswara in front of the padam similarly in the end of the sentence also you cannot have anuswara at the end of the sentence so now we have the graha pata for the day we are not going to do it now this all will be put in the homework graha pata group and we will now see the summary of what was done in today's class we did about utpatti sani we revise thank you very much you are very good in your presentation now the sutra ni is very good matra we saw the bubble mask we also made you ratanam uh, even shankar Mah- mahodaya he also is it is very well today and vishesh akshara i told you baksha shra anya and how they are used in the words we also told about the rules for we gave you guidance we made you recite also i am very happy many of you even though you do not have sanskrit as our base language of hindi or devanagari script before you are able to read a sanskrit shloka today i am very 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 happy and satisfied sarvam krishna arpanam you also saw the rules when to use anuswara when not to use anuswara when to use visarga when not to use visarga what happens to visarga when it is followed by a sha sha or sa what happens when a cha is followed or what happens when a pa is followed or ba ba pa is followed So the Jiva Mulya Upadmaniya, Vayakha Kha is followed. All that we saw. And we also saw, we didn't see today, but we know how to use Jiva Mulya, when to use and when not to use also. We know it. Like we said, whenever there is a full Kshya, Sukha Haksha Mi, when a Kshya comes, Jiva Mulya cannot be used. Likewise, even when the Padam is split, Partha Ha, pitrunata when you split the pada the uh, upadmaniya cannot be used you must use a full hakara so now any questions will take up before that homework will be discussed 
we'll go to uh, the previous uh, class homework. I think all of you have done the homework. Very happy about it. That only you, it's more than my teaching. It is your commitment which takes you this great. So fill in the blank. A vowel is the jiva for the words in Sanskrit. Am and aha are the ayoga vahaha in Sanskrit. Jigva mulya and upadmani yaha or the visargaha only modified for pronunciation in Sanskrit. The vowel marks for adding a and au or i and au or i will be just uh, one, uh, two strokes above the uh, letter. Whereas au will be two strokes above the matra. One matra will be put and then shamika. For I, just on the letter itself, you put one stroke. It becomes I. For AU, you put one matra, vertical stroke. For A, then you put two strokes there. For I, simple I, you put only two upstrokes on the letter. Whereas for AU, you put on this vertical stroke. That's how it must be written. And uh, how the vowel mark for A to AHA for BRA, BRAM, BRAM. A to AHA means only bra, bra, bri, bri, bru, bru, bre, brai, bro, brau, bram, braha. You must write. Up to aha, you must write. Then how are the following words written? I think bho, janam, maha, prana, bho, janam. All of them are alpha prana only. And ke, shavaha, ke, shavaha. This has to be there. Buddhihi. One uh, alpha prana, then a maha prana. Buddhihi, visarga must be there. All dih should be visarga. Bojanam, the full makara should be written. You cannot write anuswara here. Then write the words using Krishna, Pushnam, Tikshna, Rukshna, Vidahina, uh, Rushna, Krishna, all that you would have written. Varshneya, Bhya, Sarve Bhyaha, Te Bhyaha, Ke Bhyaha, Bhya. Ubhayo uh, Abhyaha Kshay Bakshya Bokshya Bakshayat Bakshati uh, You have got so many Kshya Ishta you know many Nashta Ashta Ashta Dasha uh, Vismaya uh, Vishtaha So so many Ishta are there So you know from Bhagavad Gita many many sloka I think you gave the sloka number also in your answer because for the teachers to find them easily. Then write the vowel mark for l. La la li li l. No, uh, l -ru is not l -ru, it is l. Then l lu l. Le lai lo tau lam la. Then write the anuswaraha for all the letters. Igna. This is a only. So, gna, gna, gni, gni, sorry, anuswaraha, I said. So, it must be uh, gnam. Then, gnam. It gnam. Here we gnam. You must write. Gnam and gnam also you must write. There are four of them. The conjunct consonant, only igna is given. So, you must have for ik, ik, ig, and ig. All four. Then, split and write like ramaha. Sanjayaha. Ta is is plus a. Inj. Ja is plus a. Ya is plus a plus a. Bhishmasya. Bh. E. Then ish. Shakaraha. Makaraha. Shakaraha. Shakaraha. Akaraha. Bhishmasya. But for Bhishmancha, no Visarga. So here Shakaraha must become Visarga. Bhi, bhakaraha, e karaha, shakaraha, ma, im, makaraha, akaraha, visargaha. In place of shakara, you must have put a visargaha. 
then chakaraha akaraha cha so bishman cha te me bhakaraha ikaraha shakaraha makaraha akaraha when you say makaraha it is only yum then inj you remove the inj you put anuswara bishnam cha chakaraha akaraha this is bishmaha cha this is bishmam cha that is the difference then write join in the word krishna cha then a ishma come here karma nasthe is sakaram has come there garbhas tata sakaram has come there so you must know what words to be added in place of the visarga for joining the uh, words then fit the join word kaibyascha tatsaditi pramarpanam then match the following it in it is in there are three letters or two consonants and gunita akshara there sukha dukkha kshami full hash vidhans padmaniya ha so only the pronunciation when there is a p and f and dirga ha two matra kala hrasva dirga pruta ha they are all grouping of the vowel then write the words using dra yayatra tajala istha istha parthatvam ikta yukta mukta प्रयोग प्रसन्न प्रपन्न सो ऑल दिस इन भगवदगीता सो ऑल द होमवर्क वॉज डन सो नाउ विल गो फॉर द टूडे क्लास सो संक्षेप कंप्लीटेड सो नाउ विल ऑल प्रे द ऑल ऑफ यू बी न्यूट एंड डिसाइड द शांति मंत्र इन संस्कृत सुखिन सुखिनरामया पश्य कशि दुख भाव ओं शाति 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 श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि धन्यवाद सर्वेभ्य थैंक यू पंडित थैंक यू